95% of Georgia's deaths at the hands of COVID-19 have been among those 68, 60 years of age and older. Good afternoon, I'm Rob Hughes in for Karen Greer. This morning, Governor Kemp doubling down on the push to get senior citizens vaccinated and the plan to expand vaccine eligibility to include teachers and other essential workers. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. Today, the U.S. is on the verge of surpassing another grim milestone, 500,000 COVID-19 deaths. Local and national leaders are looking for ways to speed up the vaccine process. As of today, Georgia has four state-run mass vaccination sites up and running. Our Rebecca Schramm is live at GEMA headquarters. Rebecca, you were there for the governor's news conference this morning. Any problems so far at those new sites? Rob, smooth sailing so far at the sites. You know how they use this facility as a central command whenever there's a hurricane, for example, threatening our state? Well, that's what they're treating. That's how they're treating it for these state-run vaccine sites. They've got several agencies working together inside GEMA's headquarters. And one thing that surprised us, how low the demand is at one of those sites. Unfortunately, it's nearly a three-hour drive from here. At 8 o'clock this morning, Georgia's first state-run mass vaccination sites opened in four cities. Appointments for three of them filled up quickly, including one in Metro Atlanta at the Delta Flight Museum. Healthcare worker Chiquita Mann was thrilled to get her appointment. Since I'm in Cobb County, I couldn't get, I couldn't find a place to get it, so I signed up here. The sites were strategically chosen because of data showing which areas were underserved. Very low numbers especially amongst African Americans in Clayton County, which is why we wanted to partner with Delta. The director of the Georgia Emergency Management and Homeland Security Agency, James Stallings, told reporters there's heavy demand at three of the sites, but not in southwest Georgia, in Albany. At that site, less than 4% of this week's available appointments have been booked so far. Something to consider if you're desperate for the vaccine this week and you're okay with a road trip. Just remember, if the demand there stays low. Believe you me, we remain very flexible. If, if we're not seeing demand somewhere, we'll shift those doses somewhere where there is demand. Chiquita Mann is telling her friends she believes when you get the vaccine, it provides double protection. Not just for you, but also your family. Now, as for when Georgia might expand who's eligible for the vaccine, for example, teachers and other essential workers, the governor says they're working on a finalization of a plan right now. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.